Uh, well, I want to carry on that top four discussion, but to do so, I feel we have to mention the game that you just uh, talked about, Craig. Uh, Spurs leaving extraordinary late against uh, struggling Watford, beating them 1-0 yeah. away, taking all three points, of course, to keep them very much in this race for the top two, uh, top four, sorry, it was uh, Sanchez's late, late, around 96th minute, uh, which gave them all three points. I thought in contrast to what we saw in the Arsenal game, Craig, this was a very average performance from Spurs, particularly in the final third. Yeah, but I think this is where part of the problem that Conte has to solve is, is that they've played two teams in the last two games in Southampton and Watford that they've dominated. And they're, they're a team who, when we saw them play against Liverpool in particular, and there have been others, when it's a fast-flowing NTN game, they're sort of sitting back and then they hit in the counter-attack. That's kind of suiting their style at the moment and maybe we'll see a change. And Conte's talked about you know, what he needs from Daniel Levy. He's been told he'll get funds to spend. He's evaluated the squad now. He said that today after the game. I've evaluated the squad. Mm. I know all the players. I know what I need. And I just feel when they're playing teams like uh, Watford in particular, who are scrapping for their, their life then that's not something that suits this particular Tottenham team and this system. Arsenal or Spurs, who's finishing higher, Frank? Well, right now I would say Arsenal. The way they play today, I, I didn't say a word about the way they play today, but I, I think they, they convinced me that uh, something has changed there over there. Because some people are going to say that Manchester City uh, didn't play well today. Yes, but it's because of Arsenal. The Gunners showed their strength, the way they, they were technically very well organized. And if I compare, you know, the way they play, the, 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 the consistency that they had for an hour before Gabriel was sent off, make me think that they're better than Tottenham. Now, I don't want to be too harsh on the Spurs because remember, before Conte comes up, uh, they were nowhere near it. Mm. And uh, even if they weren't good today, we, went, we, we saw the, I would say, the, the, the Spurs from the past month uh, before Conte arrived. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.